Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my favorite things. Um, I'm here with a naked face because I'm going to be showing you my nighttime skincare regimen. I'm going to actually consolidate my daytime with my nighttime so you can see what I use during the day and, um, and then show you what I use at night. So just a couple of my favorite things um, and while I'm washing my face, I thought about my last video, talked about some of my favorite perfumes, and because I have been so behind in my videos, I thought I would consolidate and do um, just a few of my favorite things, some perfumes that I really enjoy, um, some perfumes that my husband loves. Uh, these are perfumes that I'm gonna be sharing with you that men tend to really compliment on um, so I have my favorites and then I have the favorites that, that he really likes. So I'll share that with you too. As you can see, you kind of, I'm inviting you into my world and I love perfumes. So this is, uh, these are quite a few of my perfumes. I have, um, a ton of different, um, not one perfume here smells the same. Everything smells differently. I'm more into either soft smells or um, in the wintertime, I lean more towards heavier, you know, um, stronger smell, a smell that will last. Um, oil-based perfumes, perfumes is what I use. And um, a lot of these are oil-based, so they will last a lot longer if they're oil-based. So that's something to definitely look out for when you are perfume shopping. Because you are, uh, a subscriber of mine and you view my videos, I am going to share a secret with you. Um, the perfumes that I have are very expensive. And as you can see, they add up. I mean, if I were to take the cost that I've spent on all of these perfumes, I don't even want to think about it. Okay. But again, don't judge me because everybody has their thing that they like. And I told you uh, or confessed before the perfumes are my guilty pleasure. I love um, smelling great. I love, um, they, they set the mood for me. They set the tone either for bed or uh, if I'm going out with my girlfriends to have a spa day or if I'm going on date night with my husband um, or if I'm just going shopping. You know, I like to smell me. I like to smell good for me. So um, I love, I'm not partial to women's cologne, I, uh, perfumes, I love men's cologne. Uh, just the same. So I really get into um, the, the colognes for my husband and uh, I'll share that probably on another segment. So, um, but right now what I want to talk about before I start with my face regimen is um, a couple of perfumes that I didn't introduce you to before. I've ordered some new ones since then. So I'm so excited to share these guys, share these with you. I get excited about perfumes. Versace. This is one that every man will love, guaranteed. If you go to, you can find this just about anywhere. So you can go to Nordstrom's, you can go to Macy's, Dillard's, Neiman Marcus. Every um, department store has this fragrance, typically. Um, get a sample, spray it on, walk through the mall, walk through the store, see if you like it. That's what I recommend on all of these fragrances. Even if they're not as expensive, I would tell you to sample them, see what it's like on your body chemistry, make sure you really love it. And that's kind of what I do. Um, if it's a fragrance or if the notes um, are appealing to me, um, I like different. I like things that I don't usually smell on everybody. Um, so I'm very unique in my taste, um, and I'm typically, I lean towards the expensive taste. Um, everything that's expensive, I kind of like it because it has something different in it. It has maybe four, five, six tones to it, some undertones. Um, that's, that's usually um, my sweet spot when it comes to a fragrance. So I would recommend trying them on and sampling them. And as I told you, because you subscribe to me, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. 
Some of these bottles that I have, and one of the bottles that I'm going to show you today, it is um, about $300 or more, um, these fragrances. So what I have done in the past is I will get, order the samples. I'll, I'll just order the samples, see if I like them, and I'll pay a lot less for the samples. And then when I spray it on and I wear it all day and I just keep smelling myself and I love it or I get a whiff, a breeze, and it's like, oh God, that smells so good. That's when I will buy it. That's when I will invest in a $300 bottle. So one of those bottles is, um, this one is called um, Baccarat or Baccarat Rouge. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. I think that's what it is, but it's Baccarat Rouge 540. This is, I would say, if I had to choose between all of my fragrances, um, it would be hard because these are my babies and there's a lot of them I love for different reasons and some I, we're in the summertime. But I would say this one is could be my signature smell. And then the second one would be Bond number nine. This one, I get the most compliments with the ladies. So females, uh, girlfriends, they're like, what is that? What are you wearing? This smells so good. Um, I'm not going to go over the list of the tones and everything. Google them. Uh, I am going to provide links to these perfumes in the bottom of my um, page. So you can always reference and then look up the notes for each one. And then you can kind of get a sense of what it smells like. Try to order samples on these, especially these bottles that are, you know, two, three, four hundred dollars or more. I would recommend doing that for sure. Um, if I had to do the signature scent, like if you smell this, you're smelling me, this would be it. Okay, that's how much I love this perfume. The second one would be this. That's how much I love this perfume. But there is a third. And it's, I would say they're probably all about on the same level of like, okay? And that one is Good Girl Gone Bad by Killian. Good Girl Gone Bad, okay? These are new perfumes. I have not introduced you to these. So uh, very expensive perfume. This smells amazing. Uh, the... If I had to choose, it would be these three. Okay, these these are these are my signatures. These are, um, I can pretty much say ninety nine point nine 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 percent. You go out and buy these, you're gonna be like Jackie was right. I know you're gonna love these perfumes, for sure. Okay, so um, bond number nine, uh, Baccarat Rouge five forty, and Good Girl Gone Bad by Killian. Now, this is the secret I told you I was gonna let you in on because you subscribe to me. I spend a lot of money on my perfumes, but, but I have found a very good dupe. Don't judge me, because I spend money on my perfumes. But if I'm not sure, um, I was please overlook that. Um, I spend money on my perfumes, but if I want to know what a fragrance smells like before I buy it, I have found this dupe that is spot on. And when I tell you it's oil-based too, and it lasts, and they are not, these people don't know me, I don't know them. So hopefully my um, YouTube channel will get to them. Alt Fragrances smells just like the real thing. And I wanna say they're about 40 to $60. I just got these in and they smell, that's why I'm doing this video. It smells just like this $300 bottle, no joke. And my nose knows, okay? This, it smells like the real thing. I don't know if they have the bond number nine, but they do have the good girl gone bad. I'm going to order that one. I haven't ordered it yet because I have the, the, the bottle. But as I'm getting low, 
I'm like, I don't want to spend another three, four, five hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? This one right here, I'm trying to savor it. I've already gone through one bottle of this one already. And working on my third bottle, I'm like, let me just try the dupe. And everybody was talking about, I was looking at the reviews and I was looking at some videos. And everybody was talking about how good this dupe was. This dupe is amazing. I let my husband smell the perfumes on me and he could not tell the difference. He said it smelled really good. He really liked it. So that is um, something that I'm going to share with you. I also got the, no, I did. I got the Good Girl Gone. It's called Good Girl Gone Wild. The original is Good Girl Gone Bad, but the dupe through alt fragrances is called Good Girl Gone Wild. Identical. This smells exactly the same, okay? So again, a great way to try the fragrance. If you love, 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 love it, and your thing is, I just gotta have the real thing, hey, and you got the money to do it, do it, okay? But I like to do this kind of as a backup, so I'm not like running through my favorites because they're so pricey. That's my little secret that I'll let you in on, okay? And I'm telling you where to get it from. So don't judge me. Go and get your own. All right. Two more fragrances that I want to tell you about that you have to definitely smell. This is a classic signature smell. This is by Hermes. And it's, by, it's called 24 um, Fauberg. I was at a friend of mine's house. And um, I smelled this fragrance on her. And I'm like, what is that? And she told me what it was. And I actually found this fragrance on Mercari um, for a lot less than what it costs in the stores. So that's another trick. Um, I search around a lot and I look for fragrances. Um, you can typically get a full bottle um, for a really good cost. And it's, you know, the, the real thing. So that's another, another way you can do it. And then Creed Aventus for her is another one that I love. This one is just a clean fragrance. Do your research on the notes. I'm not gonna take a lot of time with that because I'm gonna do a um, demo on my face wash as well. So I'm already 12 minutes into this video and I don't wanna take too much time. I just wanna make sure you know what these perfumes are. Um, I will have them listed in the notes below and then I will also um, Alt Fragrance is another website that you wanna go on to look at the dupes. Um, just thank me for it afterwards, because I'm telling you, your girl is hooking you up on these. One, two, three.